for anybody who's following along with the Gresty Academy um, videos as I upload them, um, this will be very familiar because the previous Gresty Academy video we did the integral of sine to the nx dx where n is odd and in this video we're going to do the integral of cos to the nx where n is an odd number, any odd number, 3, 5, 7, 9, 1 million and 1, doesn't matter. Um, and there's basically one method which can, uh, can solve this integral. Um, and which obviously makes uh, life much easier when you're trying to revise. So we're going to use uh, the um, trigonometry identity cos squared x add sine squared x, no, sorry, x, sine squared x equals 1, i.e. Um, cos squared x, sorry, i.e. cos squared x equals 1 minus sine squared X. And what we're going to do, very similar to the way that we did in uh, sine to the power of n of x, is that we are going to rewrite the integral of cos to the nx dx as the integral of cos to the n minus 1 dx times cos x dx. And then cos to the n minus 1, we are going to replace 1 minus sine squared. So that's going to give us the integral of 1 minus sine squared x to the power of n minus 1 over 2 times cos x dx okay um, and now what we are going to do to resolve this is again very similar to uh, how we solved uh, the previous integral in the previous Gresty Academy video we're going to let u equal uh, sine x do a substitution so therefore du equals cos x dx okay now um, what we're going to then do is we're going to put the substitution in here and that will give us the integral of 1 minus u squared uh, to the power of n minus 1 over 2 and cos x dx is directly replaced by du and so we are left with this integral here which is basically a polynomial the integral of 1 minus u squared to the power of n minus 1 over 2 du Right, so basically that is uh, the solution or, or at least halfway to the solution for any value of n. So just, just to give an example as, as to how powerful this is, let's take, for example, uh, the integral of cos, uh, any value of n which is odd, sorry. So let's take the cos to the power of 11 uh, x dx. So we're going to integrate cos to the power of 11 x dx, and we are going to use this formula. We're going to use the substitution u equals, um, uh, u equals sine x, um, and we are going to get that, therefore, is the integral of uh, remembering that we're using 11, so that makes 11 minus 1 is 10. That will be the integral of 1 minus u squared to the power of 5 du. That's the same thing as uh, cos power 11x uh, dx, where u, uh, we've already agreed, is uh, sine x. Now what we've got to do is integrate this. Now the first thing we've got to do to integrate it is we have to expand this polynomial using uh, Pascal's uh, triangle, and, and uh, so that would be the integral of 1 uh, minus 5u squared plus the the sign will alternate plus and minus because it's 1 minus u squared so it'll be plus 10u to the 4 minus 10u to the 6 add 5u to the 8 minus u to the 10 du and all I've done there is expanded 1 minus u squared to the power of 5 using Pascal's triangle 1 5 10 10 5 1 uh, and alternating the sign plus minus plus minus plus minus okay so that gives us now what we've got to do is integrate this which is just a polynomial which is relatively simple so that equals u minus 5u cubed over 3 add 10u to the 5 over 5 minus 10u to the 7 over 7 add 5u to the 9 over 9 minus u to the 11 over 11 plus a constant of integration and uh, we're almost there now. All we need to do now is replace the u by sine x, which is uh, um, what our substitution was in the first place. And we have that the integral of cos to the power of 11x dx equals sine x minus 5 sine cubed x over 3. Add 2 sine to the 5x minus 10 sine to the 7x over 7. Add 5 sine to the 9x over 9. Well, we've run out of space there, sorry. Minus sine to the 11x over 11. Add our constant of integration. 
And that is the solution. So basically, this is very powerful. It doesn't matter what uh, the, the power of, uh, uh, of n is. As long as it's odd, all that happens is that this expansion of polynomial will just become larger and larger, but it will still basically be the same form, and it will be just as easy to integrate uh, as this one was. Uh, now, in the next video, we are going to be doing uh, the, the slightly more complicated integrals of sine nx dx and integrals of cos nx dx, where n is even. And this is more complicated because we cannot use this little substitution trick here, u equals sine x, where du is cos x dx, which conveniently gets rid of the cos x.